Today I'm going to do another tutorial on color grading directly in Premiere Pro. I've done one of these tutorials before, but that was with Premiere Pro CS6, and this is going to be with Premiere Pro CC 2015. So first things first, just like the last video, the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of edit your timeline the way you would like and get everything kind of in order. That's definitely the first step when editing. It's not color grading. Unfortunately, that is the last part. It also can be the most fun part. But once you're done editing your timeline and you have everything in the correct order and everything way you'd like, just about at least, right click in the project menu and new item, new adjustment layer, hit OK. And just like in the last tutorial, you drag that down on top of all your clips. Once you have that, go ahead and move into the color workspace just by clicking up here in the top tab. And if you don't have that, you can go to the window, workspaces, color. And once you're in the color workspace, go ahead and just click on the adjustment layer. And over here to the right, you'll just see luminetry color. Come over here to the creative tab and just scroll through the built-in LUTs that Adobe has provided. This just really helps me kind of visualize what it could look like or different just kind of building blocks for me to use. So once I, I find something that I like to use, and I tend to actually go pretty quickly through these. Maybe I'll just go with this really quickly. Just click on it, and it'll be a, added to the adjustment layer, and you'll see that in the effects tab here, luminetry color. Now you can just use the internal built-in LUTs and be done, but I like to make some adjustments so they suit the video better. To do that, I go to basic correction, and sometimes if it's since it's so blue, I'll just raise the temperature up just a little bit, get a little more warmth, bring the highlights back down again, so I can bring these clouds back, bring the shadows up just a hair, and kind of bring in some more detail here. Then I go back into the creative tab and bring up some vi some vibrance, and add just a hair, maybe a hair of saturation. Now, if you run into the problem where the skin tones are getting a little too red. What you can do is go into the Curves tab, come over here to this circle curve, and just quickly click all of these colors so it adds these adjustment points all around the circle evenly. And then try to find something that matches that color, somewhere in the red, and you can just kind of bring it down to make it more of a natural tone. And you can add more points if you'd like also. Color grading really is all about just kind of messing around and seeing what kind of looks the best and whatever your tastes are. I really hope this helps and definitely give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and leave a comment down below what you think and if you have any questions. Thanks.